My franchise is located in Alexandria, Minnesota. It is west of Minneapolis. I was a crew chief in the Marine Corps and I got out as a sergeant. The biggest thing I learned from the military to transfer over to this is just self-reliance and self-discipline. The $5,000 incentive that MACO offers is a, a big help starting out because it takes $5,000 off your initial truck inventory, which is huge. I'd say the biggest help that MACO provides when you're starting out is the, the two weeks of training and then they have a actual trainer that's their job is to ride along with your first week and just there's a huge support system. There's the only one that can make you fail is yourself because they're giving you every opportunity to succeed. You don't need to know a lot about tools to get into it because your customers usually know what they need and you just pick on stuff over time. The main thing I've learned is just, just not be nervous. It's just your friend needs something. Hey, I have that. Here you go. My favorite thing is that it's always changing. There's always something new every day. They set the route up for you and times and everything is where to stop. And then you know, once you get going, you can customize it to the way it fits, fits you and everything. But word gets around, people call if they need a special tool. They, they talk to you know, people that are in the same line of work as them. And if I stop at their buddy's shop and like, hey, call the, call the Maco guy, maybe he has it. Yeah, over six months I have found that it's much easier to recommend tools when customers have said good things about it. Like, you know, the piece of paper can say anything. So when a customer says what they're saying, that it just it makes it much easier to tell people. Your customers know what they need. And if they don't, they tell you what kind of application they, they're using it on. And you call them HACO and you can you can tell them with like the vaguest description and they usually find exactly what you're looking for. My brother who also owned a franchise told me I should look into it because I was always asking him about it and kind of curious. I can't, like when I started I couldn't believe when I started asking Adam, my brother, about, uh, about the business. It's like selling tools, doesn't that kind of end sooner or later? Does, you know, what I knew about tools, <laughs> you buy so many ratchets and <laughs> sockets and stuff and then you're done. And they're like, no, it just keeps, keeps building, it never ends. And if I can achieve the success level that he had, I will be very happy. So far it's been very, very good.